Hi, my name is Ashley Holmes. I'm an artist and DJ from Luton, currently based in Sheffield in the UK, working across installation, performance, sound and radio broadcasts. Here at Futura Gallery, I'm presenting a solo exhibition curated by Christina Gigliotti, titled A Free Moment. The show features a body of new work made over recent months exploring space design, sound design and music production and is centred around a collaborative audio piece made with artist Joseph Bond. When you enter the gallery, you're met with a deep orange glow. Dappled with sunlight is the title of the eight window panels along the left hand side of the gallery, covered halfway with Roscoe E-Color 777 rust lighting gel transparency filters. The gallery lighting around the exterior of the room also emits an orange glow. Walking in from the entrance immediately ahead of you is a pair of speaker monitors angled and suspended from the ceiling and encased in black MDF cabinets with a seating arrangement just underneath. Towards the back of the gallery are a set of wall-based monochrome images hung at eye level. The images are a set of three A1 inkjet prints on paper titled Excursions. They feature a combination of digitally manipulated 35mm photographs taken around areas of the Peak District, a mostly rural upland area at the southern end of the Pennines with an extensive network of rounded hills, moorland and valleys. The prints also feature scans from the introductory chapter to Black Nature, a poetry anthology edited by Camille T. Dungy and published by University of Georgia Press in 2009. Also present in the wall-based images are digitally cropped and edited video stills, drawings and phone photographs of members of my family looking through photo albums and telling stories of elder relatives and areas they resided in, in Jamaica during the early 20th century. Collapsing and Embracing is the title for the audio work presented in the exhibition. It has a running time just short of 20 minutes in total. The work was made in collaboration with Joseph Bond, a friend and artist based in London. Being based in different cities, the piece initially developed from a series of exchanges and conversations remotely. Later down the line, we then came together to share ideas and material and compiled a more cohesive piece of audio which we played back through portable speakers during a walk at Padley Gorge Grindleford, where we were able to re-record and give a final layer of outdoor ambient sounds to the audio. Quite quickly, Joseph and I found we had a shared interest in similar genres of music, predominantly that of which had derived from elements of sound system culture, something integral both socially and historically to how underground and dance music cultures in the context of Britain exist and are understood today. A lot of our conversations revolved around the tonalities, the gestures and the emotions that come from some of the material that we listen to and engage with, 
and we became interested in ways of deconstructing that. Talking about the role of percussion and the approaches employed in contemporary music to punctuate shifts in rhythm and tempo were very much present in our conversational threads. And so the work grew into something which thinks through ways of discarding mechanical structures or time signatures and exploring what happens when the rhythmic work is attached to something with no anchor. Space for sitting is the title of a seated area positioned in the centre of the gallery. Arranged in an open C shape, it's made up of 25 individual triangular modular stools fabricated from MDF. The open, rounded formation is an important element of the exhibition and also to the sound work in the show. I'm particularly interested in practices of collective activity and the mode of sociality that the music produces and encourages. There's a flow and a fluidity between moments of self-reflection and harmony that are present in the production and structure of the audio track that the formation of the seating also gestures towards. The work is about a grounding and a weight in the ways that the individual is positioned in relation to the angle and suspension of the speaker cabinet. There's an emphasis on the two components being in conversation with one another that makes the viewer or the listener have an awareness of their own presence in the space. <laughs> 